at it, our main focus is to really look at innovation, which we hope to turn into entrepreneurship. Uh, where this NESLAC competition, just to try to capture what our students in the School of Engineering and Technology are working on in their research. Uh, we have a wide variety of projects uh, which each student has to undertake. Uh, most of all, for the Capstone uh, design project, we expect students to bring up a prototype that's actually working. Uh, and in this competition, we had uh, the opportunity to listen to these students who came up with original designs, original projects that actually can be looked at, worked on, and then actually commercialized to some extent. Each and every lecturer here tries their best to work with what we have at the moment, but we need more equipment, more funding, and particularly the, the support that industry is providing. We know our industry is not doing very well in Zimbabwe, but oh, well, happy to say we've seen it coming up a bit and we want to be part of that growth that's occurring in industry. Engineering has been looked at previously as a male-dominated field. But we're happy to say there are, well, the numbers of females are increasing. In fact, when you get females to hit it's almost like uh, something propels them. They work so hard. Uh, and I think if you look at uh, some of these competitions, it's been females who have been winning. Oh, guys have been winning as well. But uh, the one we had today, a female won. And that encourages other females. And also, heat encourages that. Even in our taking of students, we don't necessarily say uh, we're going to give an advantage to these who want less points from females. And No, we don't do that. These are female students who come here to learn engineering. They want to be engineers. They want to be technologists. They want to be whatever, business analysts. They want to be uh, electronic engineers. So it's something that they actually chose. And it looks like we are actually going to have more and more females until we'll be asking questions like, oh, where did all these females come from? Because we're hoping to tip the scale, perhaps, and then become one of the few institutions that actually has a large number of female engineers. For these and other stories, visit our website, www.263chat.com. Follow us on Twitter at 263chat and like our Facebook page 263chat.